Kristen Maloney. So after three rotations with one to go on this opening day of competition, Amy Chow making a statement for the veterans. Tasha Schweikert remaining a big part of this picture. And the picture has not included Shannon Miller just yet. This conversation with her coach Steve Nuno is the first indication that she is going to perform on at least one apparatus, the uneven bars. We'll see what it looks like next. Been reduced to a magnificent five. Shannon Miller hasn't done anything except touched an apparatus. J.C. Phelps is 18th. Dominique Mosciano is 12th. Dominique Dawes is 10th. Amy Chow is the highest ranking gold medalist from Atlanta. This was the one apparatus that Mark Young was very fearful of, and that's basically based on Amy's history on the balance beam. She's had many falls, including this year the American Cup Series. Big skill coming up for Amy. This is fantastic. One of the hardest skills on the balance beam. Unreal. And you know, her coach, Mark Young, has been the most outspoken and critical person about the change in the selection procedures and giving all the power to basically Bella Caroli. Each one of the coaches, each one of the athletes had to sign an agreement stating that they reviewed, understood, and agreed with the selection procedures. He said he signed his, he just crossed out agreed. And that process is a four-person committee led by Bella Caroli to select the six members of the Olympic team after the Olympic trials. No matter where you place in this event or in the trials, you are guaranteed nothing except consideration. And this routine absolutely needs to be considered coming up one of the most difficult dismounts. Triple twist. Big time, big time gymnastics, start to finish. Overall, this has been a very good, solid, consistent day for Amy Chow. The same could be said for the leader after three rotations. On the floor exercise, Elise Ray. Ray. Saw her a few years ago, and quite frankly, I just wasn't, I wasn't all that impressed. But every time you see her, looks a little bit more refined, and she is truly world class. Flying, make it look beautiful, make it look easy. It's great. Elise Ray remains in the lead with a 9.75. Right behind her in second place is Amy Chow with a 9.65. So that's why they're pretty happy about things. Meanwhile, we've been waiting. So far, all Shannon Miller has done is gone around and touched three apparatus. Finally, on the uneven bars, 
we're going to see what she's got. Why exactly did she go through the formality of doing that? It's a rule that if you've got to stay in the entire competition, you got to touch each piece of apparatus. And this is all gamesmanship. It's all about strategy. It's all about only putting Shannon Miller out there when she's going to look not good, but great. The last time Shannon competed this exercise was at an international competition a month ago. She fell. She knows she needs to hit. Shannon's always going to do a clean, a tight exercise. She has struggled a little bit on the dismount. Endurance is a factor. Well, she's still in good form, but obviously she's not going to finish in the top 12 here. How does she keep her Olympic dream going? Well, she has the petition. And what that means for her, believe it or not, even with all the medals this young lady has, she's got to go to Bella Corley's ranch in Texas before the Olympic trials right. and prove readiness, go through an exact competition. And she has to perform all four events. But this is so what's so amazing about Shannon Miller. She shouldn't have been able to stick that landing. It was just a little too low, a little too under-rotated. But somehow, somehow she's able to pull things out. It's, a, it's amazing. Shannon Miller with a hairline fracture in her leg, very similar to the injury that Kristen Maloney won her national championship on last year. Dominique Mosciano, like Maloney, still to come as day one of the 2000 U.S. Gymnastics Championships draws to a close.